Disclaimer, this video is made for an adult audience. What's the upside my dear adult fans of LEGO Soulbrick in the house and I'm standing here in my custom LEGO town called City City. It's a city based on just one base plate and it's gonna be on several levels, a bit like the Ninjago city from LEGO. But City City is centered around the city theme. So I heard that all the cool a full subscribe to Soulbrick's channel. Well in that case I'm gonna do it as well and I'm gonna smack a like. In today's video we're gonna work on a staircase and a garage for the police and a little office for the police. So let's spin this around a bit and remove the old soul brick and put in this piece here just to fill that gap a bit and then I am gonna work with some just some red bricks because I have a lot of old those two, two by fours and down here the custom staircase is gonna go in dark gray and be made out of slopes and uh, tiles and jumpers and those uh, tiles here keep everything together and down here I'm just gonna put this plate down and I have this uh, red construction thingy it's gonna go here so you get a nice uh, frame here and I have this artwork from a Lego Friends set that's gonna go behind here facing the, the alley so that looks pretty nice. You get a bit of a more three-dimensional three feel here. So it's not just like a flat wall. And then I pre-made this whole wall segment. And there's a hole here for some reason. I'm going to show you later why. And I feel it's important to get a lot of light in at the bottom here. So that's why I'm going to keep it open here and not cover that up. Uh, so we get a nice view down here to the train station behind so you can see the central st sign it's a very important sign and this is the part that's gonna be for the parking space in the garage pretty nice huh? and let's put in the rest of the staircase this is always a bit unstable when we work on it in this stage and there's gonna be a gap here so I made this wall segment that's uh, it's a bit yellowed there but you're not gonna see it it's gonna be hiding behind here just to fill that out like so fill that in on the other side we have the same kind of wall so it's like bathing with light in there well at least right now when there's a lamp shining over it and now for the fun part I made this uh, garage door contraption these are parts from it's kind of hard to, to film black but these are parts from from wheel bases because I need a little thing poking out like so and these parts are gonna go up here or down here so let's attach everything so you have a little lever here and uh, let's see if we can just turn it around a bit and if I press that forward it goes up like so and when this is uh, snugly fit together it can pretty easily stand stay in this position so it's pretty cool and I also like the, the look here it looks a bit brutalistic which is the style that I'm going for this uh, police station that's really black and has some few other accent colors like white here now to hold everything together we have this plate and this is the tricky part of course to to match this with the staircase underneath i don't really have a lot of space to put in my finger and press there but there is some space so and i always find when i'm looking at the the footage that i can see like small gaps and stuff that i don't see in real life because i'm filming in high high resolution so bear with me please it will be fixed until the next video in worst case all right it's like a mouse trap for my finger in the previous video i left some space here so that i can fit something to attach the the bridge that's going to go up here so we get a little path to the fire station office and here's the piece that I assembled and I don't know if I'm gonna go with this staircase later on but it's uh, just a sketch right now for how I want this to go to the to the next segment 
So let's push everything together. And that's really stable actually. And let's push that back. And for the next level, I'm just gonna go with these kind of simple windows. But then, and inside here, there's gonna be a little office with just a computer and a very important red coffee mug. Because policemen need their coffee to stay awake when they're on duty. And there's a blue simple chair. And here's a bit of a funny little part that I've assembled with the wings there. It's gonna go in the front here, or maybe it's the side. It's the front of the police building. And we're gonna use this shield from, uh, I think it's from Nexonites. So it's gonna attach here. So it looks a bit like a badge with wings and just a simple corner here in black. And that part goes like so, it's gonna be there. Turn that around again. And I have those little pins poking out here for a reason. So that they're gonna go down there. And notice that I use the windows this way, so you get some extra space here. Looks nice, I think. Same kind of design for that side. And then I'm going with a white frame with a black door in here. Oh, I almost forgot the flower pot. It's gonna be in the corner here. So let's see, can you see it? That's cute. All right, so in with the door. That's going to be right there. And I made this assembly with the police sign and then they have some fingerprints back there. A very simple office, but it does the trick. Don't really have space for that much more. And then we're going to have like a pillar here with a baton that symbolizes the power of the police. And a pillar on the other side. And a fence. So a police or a soul brick could be standing here, enjoying the view, looking out for criminals. And here's the roof segment that's gonna go up here, hold everything together, and that the next level will rest on. We need to pop in our satellite dishes and go here. And this is of course not a political video. It's a bit of a bad timing to make a police station video right now due to the recent events where the police have been killing black people for a couple of hundred years. But as I say, this is not a political commentary or anything. This is not a political YouTube channel. Well, it's a feminist YouTube channel. And here's the police officer. He's a bit inspired by the Judge Dredd comic book character. So it looks pretty badass and he has that blue lamp so he can go wee 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 by himself. And let's just put him up here on this little balcony. A bit like Juliet from Romeo and Juliet. Very romantic. All right, so I think this turned out pretty cool. It really looks like something from the Judge Dredd comic, I would say. I like that. It looks menacing. And it's not white like usual uh, Lego police stations are. Kind of like symbolize ultimate power. A bit evil, menacing looking. But a uh, police station of course needs a police car. So let's, um, let's have a look. Let's see here. It's gonna come out. Oh yes. That looks totally, totally <laughs> badass. Okay, so it's built in the four wide scale, a bit classic, but with those really exaggerated doors up here. And a small window, I think that looks uh, like something heavy duty. The nice uh, red accent color there on the wheelbase. You can open it on the back, of course, and you have a, a computer back there because they don't take prisoners. They just, you know, shoot people in the back for every crime, whatever crime. That's just how it works in city city. Every, every city state has their own laws, I guess. 
I mean it's cute but it's also evil looking so let's park that inside here now all right it's a bit weird reviewing your own work I mean imagine you're a movie director or something you made a new movie and then you're gonna review it for for the audience I see a lot of uh, AFOS calling for reviews when they talk about what they've built. But I guess it's it's a kind of a review. But I'm super happy with how this uh, turned out actually. Um, and hopefully I can keep having this open for the next segment. I haven't really planned out what to make here. But I wanted to have all those uh, kind of buildings that are re reliant on, on ground vehicles to be on the bottom floor. So that's why the fire station is there and the police station and of course the train station. I mean look at that little alley now. Looks really nice. Maybe we should put in a bearded minifig there just to bring some life to this scene. There he is, a pretty basic bearded guy. And I put in an extra one here as well in the alley who's talking on the phone there. So, I mean, all in all, that looks uh, pretty nice. Don't forget to put in your minifigs on display in your city. It's easy just to focus on the buildings, but minifigs are really nice. Oh, look at that. That really adds, you know, the scale to everything. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay out of the nonsense, stay awesome, and uh, please subscribe.